Hi and welcome to my podcast which is on packet switching and circuit switching for the OCR computing A-level specification uh, F451, the first unit. Okay, so if we have a quick look, what we've got here is a diagram and this represents a network. Um, if we have a quick look at what's written up here, a message sent from one machine to another, particularly over a wide area network, this message may have to pass from one, one machine to another. In other words, what we're saying is if we want to send a message from one machine to another, we may have to go through other machines to get there. All right, so if we have a quick look. So say we want to send a message from A to D, that doesn't have to go through any other machines. All right, say we want to send a message from A to B, Again, we've got a direct route. We don't have to go through any other machines to get to either of these. However, if we wanted to get to E or to C, we might have to take a different route through another set of computers. So we've got a direct route from A to B, and we've got a direct route from A to D. But, as we've just seen, A to C, we cannot get there. Same with A to E. We cannot get there in a direct route. So how do we overcome this? Well, we can use two methods. The first method we'll look at is packet switching. So, say for example our message to be sent is this. We know that messages are always sent in binary across computers, so we've got, um, I'm using four, eight, 12 bits here. Um, and what we do is, in the, just a simple example, we split those into equal size packets and we send packets across the network. So I've split that into three equal size packets with four bits in each. Each packet has a label on it saying where the destination is and a number to say which packet uh, number it is. So for example, this is the first one as we can see here, this is the second one and this is the third one. All right, so we've got the actual address and also we've got a number to um, designate which order it is in, which is the control bit. So if we have a quick look at this, each time a packet reaches a node, the node decides which, decides which direction to send it. One packet reaches node D for example, so each time a packet reaches a node, the node decides which way to send it. So say one of our packets, one of them might go this way and one might go this way. Say one of them goes and reaches node D. Now it reaches node D, a decision needs to be made as where it goes next. So the obvious route is to go to directly to C. As we can see here, this is the obvious route. But if it's already in use from another message, D will send it to E instead. So if we cannot use this for some reason because it's already in use for another message or it could be down or whatever, D will have to send it to E instead. So the packet could go to E instead. It arrives um, at E and, oh sorry, it arrives at E and the line is free, so it will then send it. If the packet arrived at D and this line was free, then it might send it directly to C. But if the line was busy, it would go to E and then via E to C. All right? Um, when all the packets arrive at C, they are reassembled uh, using the numbers and the control bit to put it in order. So we reassemble them and put them back into order. So eventually they'll all arrive in this, in this destination. So some packets might go to B and then directly to C. Some packets will come a longer route and therefore they might get there in a different order. At the end they'll put, be put all together. That is essentially what packet switching is. Right, the other type that we've got is circuit switching. This time, before the message is sent, a route is reserved from A to C. So if we just have a quick look, a route is reserved from A to C. So this route could be this one here, a direct route here, quite simple. Well, it is available, it's reserved. That means nothing else can use it while this data is being sent. The message is then sent on this route. The message is still divided into packets. The packets are sent in order this time though. That means they arrive in order, which means there's no need to reorder the packets at the end. All you need to do is reassemble them. So packet one will be sent, then packet two will be sent, then packet three will be sent, 
packet one comes in, packet two comes in, packet three comes in. We've already got them in order. We don't need to do anything with them. We've received the data. And that's all circuit switching is quite simply. So if we look at them next to each other, packet switching has no established route. Um, the, the packets can go anyway, uh, whereas circuit switching has an established route. Um, packet switching, the packets are sent on individual routes, so everyone will go in a different direction, uh, potentially, whereas in circuit switching, all the packets will go in, go in the same direction. In packet switching, they cannot easily be easily intercepted. This is because the packets are all going in different directions, so it's a lot diff more difficult to find um, a group of packets of the whole message. However, in circuit switching, because they're all on the same route, it's a lot easier to grab them all. Just think if you were a um, traveling as a group of people. If you all went the same route, you'd be a lot easier to intercept than if you all took a different route. Packets need reordering at the end of packet switching, whereas in circuit switching, the packets arrive in the correct order. Packet switching maximizes the use of the network, basically meaning uh, the whole network is utilized and it, and it uses it um, efficiently, whereas circuit switching ties up large areas of the network. So when circuit switching is going, uh, nothing else can be sent on that route. And that is essentially what you've got, packet switching and circuit switching. So if you want to have a quick read over that again, I'll leave it there for you for a moment. Um, feel free to pause the video now to have a quick read and understanding of both of them together. Sort of questions you might get asked on this will be, um, describe packet switching, describe circuit switching, or you might get describe packet switching and give an advantage of packet switching, which obviously we've got some advantages here in comparison to here, or describe circuit switching, give an advantage of circuit switching over packet switching. Um, another potential question you could have is compare packet switching and circuit switching, which is essentially what you've got down here. This sort of um, set of uh, answers is what you'd need.